Okay, and we're back. So just a minute ago, I finished drawing um, two different sides of my street, okay? We drew the sidewalk, the road, and some buildings, okay? So if you need to see that, go back to that video. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do doors, windows, brick, signs, things like that, decorative details. Okay, so let's zoom back in and you can see what I'm doing. So first thing is every building does need a door because no one's gonna build a building with a door. You couldn't get inside of it, you couldn't work on it. There's no point. So you've gotta have a door to make your building realistic. So starting off just like I do with my buildings, I started with a vertical line. Now I wanna make sure this vertical line comes all the way down to my sidewalk so a person could actually walk into the building. All right, now typically also your doors are gonna be a little bit bigger than your windows, but maybe not if you're making like, you know, a really nice modern building with some good views. So I've got two vertical lines, okay? So one, two, three, because this line's already drawn for me. So what type of line do I need right here? A vanishing line, okay? How do I know that? Well, because the, my two lines have to match. The sides of my door are matching. They're both vertical, going straight up and down. The bottom of my door is going to the vanishing point, and this line has to match. So since this line's going to the vanishing point, so does this. Okay, if that's confusing, another tip to remember is anything that is on the front of your building, okay, is going to be a vertical or vanishing line. The only time you're gonna have horizontal lines is when you are on the side or like the roof of your building, okay? So if I were to draw a door over here, it would be just two vertical lines and a horizontal line because it's on the side. Okay, the sides don't have to be fancy, just the fronts, okay, where you walk in at, that's gotta be to the vanishing point. All right, so now I'm gonna draw some windows here. And I like to draw a couple windows at a time to save some time. So I've got my, starting off with vertical lines once again. All right, I was gonna say this is a couple story building, it's pretty big. So I've started out with two vertical lines for two windows, one, two. All right, now what type of line do I need for the bottom and the top? Well, it's on the front of my building, so it's gotta be vanishing lines. And remember, there's only three types of lines in this drawing, vertical, vanishing, and horizontal. There are no diagonal lines in this unless it's actually a vanishing line, okay? So don't be drawing lines like this, because unless it touches that point, that line is wrong, okay? So I'm gonna do this again, go to the bottom here and connect and connect. So there are some windows and you wanna erase off your little overhang. If you wanna increase the realism of your windows, you can draw like a little edge right here. So it looks like the window is set back just a little bit into the wall, or you could add shutters this way too if you wanted to. You would just add the shutters on the outside, okay? And then I'm gonna draw another vanishing line right there. Oop, that's a little too tall. Okay, so there's like a little ledge for my window, okay, to show it's set back. Okay, but if you wanna have like a little flower box, you could draw that, okay. Have a little flower box overhanging my window. Some vertical lines, okay. I could have a little balcony made this way. I could show like, you know, some little like vines and flowers and whatever coming out of that window if I wanted to be like a little window box flower pot. Okay, so if I wanna do a sign, same thing. If it's on the side or the front of my building, it's gotta be connected to the vanishing points. So I'm gonna do two vanishing lines. Okay, and this one's kind of right at the horizon, so it might look a little weird. So there's my fancy sign. If I wanna put letters in here, I'd have to make them in perspective too. So I could be like, I don't know. Here, my first name's Katie, let's write that. Or, my initials, K, 
G, okay? So letters would be bigger over here, smaller over here. So there's my sign. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna say show you how to do um, brick, okay? Which is probably the most confusing thing. So if I'm on the side of my building, my brick is just plain and normal, okay? Just like my windows and signs would be anything that's over here on the side, it doesn't have to be fancy. Okay, so I would just keep doing this, all right? And I would just add my little brick lines. It's probably best to use a ruler so things actually stay straight. Looks weird if you have um, like I've seen a lot of kids who they start out doing their brick straight and then they kind of do this and it looks really weird. So don't do that do this. Okay. But then when I get to the front of my building, they keep just drawing straight lines. Well, that looks weird. You can't just go off your building. So remember when you're on the front of a building, okay, it's going to be in perspective. So you've got to use vanishing lines. So down here, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna shift my ruler, but keep touching the point, okay? So I stay touching the point, I just shift up to my new brick line. Okay, and you may not be able to see all these lines, they might start to converge because they're, the further they are away, the smaller they get. Okay, and then I would just keep shifting down Okay, and once I get below the horizon line, which I will here in a second, you're gonna see what happens. Okay, so see how I'm still touching the vanishing point. Oftentimes people will start out touching the vanishing point and then when they get down here, they start drawing straight lines that aren't connecting. Okay, like this line, which I have set up right now, would be wrong because it's not touching the point. Okay, so you've got to touch the point anytime you're on the front of your building. That's the rule, you just gotta remember that. If something looks weird, ask yourself, is it touching the point? Should it be touching the point? It's probably that, okay? So I would just keep doing this all the way down, okay, making brick. And I would connect to here and make my straight lines. Okay, so on your actual, I want you to practice brick, okay, on this mini assignment, but on your actual assignment, you do need to have two different types of brick. So I could make, you know, really skinny brick. I can make vertical, I can make big blocks like stone, whatever you want. Okay. So hopefully that's making sense. Um, yeah, that's the video. Okay.